Close the door. Is he breaking it? Oh, he's breaking the windows. Trap there. <gasps> did it get caught in the, in the other trap? Oh, I think it did. Oh no, I just let him in. Get out, Jess. Alright guys, welcome back to some more Bigfoot. We're in a different location today because word has got around. Wait, there's no way. <laughs> this early on? Word has got around about what we did at Yellowstone. And we've been hired to try and find some missing people. Only this time, we're in the Redwoods. So, the same thing. We're going to be here for seven days. We only got... Like, a permit for seven days, I guess. <laughs> I think that's how it works. And hopefully we can we can find some answers. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I have been told from a lot of you guys, when you switch specific characters, when you're using the, uh, the gold weapons, because I know a lot of you guys did the same as me from there. Apparently, it doesn't necessarily work. So I do want to see this. Do I want to take the night vision? No, because I don't really use it. All right, here we go. Okay, no, so we're good. So this time round, we're Jessica. Because Jessica's way faster than the rest of the team, so I definitely wanted that movement speed. Let's reload the flare. And then what we can do is scroll. I always get mixed up with that. I always use this. I'm just so used to using this. Oh. Whoa. I don't know if you guys heard that then, but it sounded like something ran up on me on, on this side. There's going to be some strange sounds coming from this place that I'm not used to because it's been a minute. But yeah, like I was saying to you guys, we are looking for the relatives of the people that sent us here. Dead or alive, Grant Grove Village. We've only got seven days to do it, so we're against the clock. All right, let's check inside. Giant's tree, a med kit. Couple of pieces of meat and an axe. We can use all of that. Another flare here too. This would be such a cool spot to come and hang out and camp, wouldn't it? Look at that. The side of a massive tree. Massive tree like this. Just throw a couple of sleeping bags down. Easily stay out of the elements as well. It's definitely here somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's our first piece of evidence. Nice this back out. I'm keeping this on me because that way we can keep tabs on him if he comes in close. Alright. Let's keep looking around this area then. Oh! Okay. Well, I think we found someone. Oh, wow. Okay, yep. Whatever's left of them. That might have been the reason why he was around here. Maybe he didn't finish his dinner. Okay, we found John. Grab the crowbar, he's not going to need it. And it didn't look like it did him a lot of good either. Let's turn the flashlight off. Okay, so where does that leave us then? I guess we head towards this way. Which I think could be the wa I think this is where the teepee is. Yeah, there we go. There's the waterfall. It gets so easily turned around at night time. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Bring that heart rate down. <laughs> it's way too early for that. Okay, we found someone else. Looks like they put a trap down. Definitely went off, but... Yep. Alright. We got it. That's two people. We're 50% of the way there. Good going so far. If we can keep this up, we should have it done. Alright. Another clue there. Yeah, the ones that I really, really struggle with are the scratches on the trees, though. So, while it's daytime, we got to use that as much as possible. Where's this leading to? What? Seems like a really random spot to put a bench. Is there, like, something secret here? If there is, I don't know about it. All right, where are we then? Let's have a look. So, follow this down and then make a right... 
We've got like another little camp down there, so we'll just follow this down. The problem is, if I stay on this kind of trail here, I know where I am because it becomes familiar, but the problem is, <laughs> there could be traps everywhere, so... All right, we got a deer there. Ooh. Why did that just go off? That wasn't me. Do they do that noise even if you're not there? Tango down. I got a feeling it's here. Right, let's grab the meat. Come on. Keeping you guys here for this because I know you can feel that tension. You can taste it. Night number two. Got another shelter. Nobody's around, right? Oh, there we go. Nice. That's a great find. So we got ourselves a shotgun now. Switch to it. Reload up. Okay, there's another camp down there. And I think... Oh, there we go. Got another body here. Again, whatever's left of it. Who is that? Oh, that's Monica. Rest in peace, Monica. Grab all this stuff. Not going to be needing it. And get across there. Okay, so we're on three. Three out of four. That's really, really good going so far. This area here was where I was hearing everything. Just to switch to that. Actually, no. Switch to the GPS. Yeah, I really do feel watched here. <laughs> not comfortable, not one bit. Uh, something's pissing the bears off as well. Broken. All right, big guy. Let's do this. Oh, no. No. Leave me alone. Stop. Shit. Leave me alone. Come on, I'm going to dance around this. Oh, my God. Run away. I mean, if you're going to give me that shot, I'll definitely take it. Come on, get the camera. And we need to heal too. There we go. Oh, look at that. I don't know what's worse, knowing where it is or not knowing. Look at that. It's right next to us and we can't see it. All right. Oh, that is close. That is really, really close. He's like here. He's like right there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, so he does set the birds off. So when I hear that, that could be him. Okay. Right, so you're behind me now. We're learning. We're learning the creature's movements, its habits. I really wish this GPS thing lasted longer than it does, though. <laughs> it's not very long. Trap down there. And then close this. Okay, right. We found a cabin. We can at least get a little bit of shelter for the rest of the night. I'm going to close the curtains, too. I don't want him looking in. You don't get to see this. This is chilling. If you've never heard this, I'm going to be quiet for a second and just listen. You guys imagine hearing that? <laughs> I do not know what I would do. I've never heard that before. Listen to Jesse's breathing. Wait, what? He makes a loud scream, he's caught in the trap, and we gotta use that. There we go. Close the 
Close the door. Is he breaking it? Oh, he's breaking the windows. Trap there. <gasps> did it get caught in the, in the other trap? Oh, I think it did. Oh no, I just let him in. Get out, Jess. Come on, come on, big guy. There we go. Nice. We're doing a lot of damage. No, you don't. Leave me alone. Can I get these back? Please? Yes? Oh my god! Oh, I really had to focus then. Oh no! Wait, why is... The door isn't opening. I'm just gonna loop him. No! Oh my god! What? Oh, shit! So, the great people over at Manscaped and Bruno are back once again with another sponsored video. And the boy is feeling much better now, as you can see with his new friend Colin, who is being very, very gentle with. If you've followed me for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of Manscaped and I genuinely really like their products. I'm actually building quite a collection now as well. So I'm happy to show off once again the Beard Hedge Pro Kit. I've been using this kit for a few weeks now and the one thing I can 100% vouch for is just how easy and simple this stuff makes it to take care of yourself. Easily my favorite thing about this is the ability to set the waterproof trimmer to my preferred length and just have it all done in the shower in 2-3 to three minutes and leave absolutely no mess behind. I even spent a couple of minutes helping Colin out after he went 12 rounds with our resident house hippo and if I can do all this in more or less than 2-3 to three minutes and make him look somewhat human then I'm sure your results will be way better than mine. The Beard Hedge Pro Kit includes the Beard Hedger, Beard Shampoo, Beard Conditioner, Beard Oil, Beard Balm, Travel Case and Free Gift. So, as always, if you are interested for a loved one or even for yourself, go to manscaped.com today and get yourself a nice little 20% off plus free shipping when you use code FUSTA at checkout. That's 20% off plus free international shipping with promo code FUSTA at manscaped.com. You guys will never know the pain of trying to get Colin back off Bruno in that back garden. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. And of course, Bruno for helping out as always. Not you, Colin. Nobody likes you. The good news is... We only have to find one more body now. Wait, did I get that one? Yeah, I did. We only have to find one more body now. And a little bit more evidence. It's mainly the scratches on the trees. I've probably missed some. I'll have to go back and, <laughs> and have a look. But in all the panic, it does happen footprints scratches on trees and one more body to find right let's get to the top of this then see what we got is this is this where we can put the skulls yeah i shouldn't say that nothing happens because i've actually never tried it i should though so let's just place these on here and i guess if anything will happen it it'll happen if i put the uh, the last two down there's nothing else here right no okay so where does that leave us then we can come here to the left and then down here which I'm not sure is that. No, there's our trailer up there. Okay, so let's go this way then. Right, this is where the radio tower is. So is there anything that's been left behind? Usually you can find like a car battery and stuff around here that you can use, which is really, really useful. Oh, is this its cave? Oh, I think it is. Oh, yeah, I recognize this. Oh, look at that. Crystal cave. put those there for now <laughs> walk in them on the way back oh yeah he's been having a feast you definitely can't identify who those people are nothing left what is that <laughs> it's just like a wrist bone or something okay so it's just peter then that we're missing so we got john monica and ruby so yeah peter is the only one that we need to find now and then apart from that it's just the other clues right let's use daylight while we've got it there's nothing else that I left here, right? Nothing leaning up against the uh, the camper or anything? No. I got some extra traps and another GPS sensor, so we're loaded for that. So which direction do we want to head in? Like, here? 
This side? Yeah, we went that way before, so let's head this way. I'm a little bit worried about time. It's like I told you guys, the time limit is seven days. Technically, if we run into the eighth, that's fine because we're not staying on the eighth, but I'd rather get this done in seven. It's not looking good for Peter, though, considering how the rest of the guys were. Oh, another GPS sensor. Nice. <laughs> Silver lining. <laughs> right, what is this then? That's shelter two. Turn this off. Trying to look after the environment. Oh, my God. <sighs> I promise you guys, it really doesn't get easier. I promise. Like, I've hunted this thing a lot now. <laughs> that sound still gives me chills every time I hear it. Right, where are we going? Where are we going? Night number three. Let's get a little bit of height. How many traps do we have? We have seven traps, six first aid kits. I guess let's throw these down here. And yeah, I mean, we're looking good. I've got plenty of stuff that I can use. Like to distract it, to lock onto it so I can get a reading on where it is. Oh, did I just... Oh, it's a wolf. Whoa. You went from there to there in the blink of an eye. Oh, my fu- oh. oh. just realized I don't have any flares either. Stupid pig. That scared me so bad. <laughs> After hearing that and then seeing something coming charging around a tree. That broke my heart a little bit. I'm sorry, Rocket. <laughs> Nothing in there. And there's nobody at the bottom of this. Let's go up. Wait a second. Let's... Let's put this here, because I can get down to that one pretty quick. Yeah, that seems good. Our escape route there. Ooh, wait. Oh, look at him! Oh my god, he does do that! He doesn't just charge in! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. GPS sensor. There we go. And... Come on, big guy. Follow me down. Is he gonna go down the stairs? Oh, damn, this is such a long way. Oh, no. No. Don't you break that. Don't you dare break that. Where's that left us, then? Okay, so at least we got him with the GPS. I, I don't have any flares, though. Like, <laughs> there's nothing left, so I have to use this. I mean, maybe the fireworks? Let me put these here. Like, over here somewhere. And then... Hold E to use. And then can we get back up? It's gonna be loud. I'm watching the GPS in the lower left and I don't think that's bringing him. Look, he's staying there. Don't you break this, please. It's here somewhere. There you are. I see you. All right, we're going. I don't know if he can hear me doing this. <laughs> this is some serious distance, though, and you saw how quickly he covered that ground then. What's inside? Oh, first aid kit. Oh, yeah, he's pissed. And more flares. Oh, that's beautiful. Hold on. Reload up. They're just so good for stunning the creature. Another first aid kit. Another safe. The temptation to get the safes open is <laughs> so strong. He tore out the GPS. We're flying blind. <laughs> Eyes peeled for any... Any silhouettes moving through that tree line. Is it about to rain too? Oh, no. I really need to listen out. Did he destroy this trap? Yeah, he did. You guys saw that, though. When he was coming in, he was just stood there, like, looking around as if he was in the bush. Then he came... And he came charging up the stairs. Like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. He has got to be pissed. He's going to destroy this thing. I just know it. I'm going to eat shit straight to the ground. No, go. Okay, right. Where can we get to? I don't want to close the gap, so... Let's just go this way. 82.4 meters and... Oh my... How the fu... Oh. 
How did he get here that quick? Get him. Wait, what? How did you get past that? Wait, what? Get back up there. Nice. Go. I have one more flare. Oh, shit. Don't you do it. Go. Come on, Jess, move. I mean, you guys can see this. Oh my! What? Okay. This thing is so aggressive. Get him! Just gonna try and put as much of this into him. Oh my god, there's no way. There is no way you keep coming at me like that. Dance around the trap. Come on, big guy. Oh, leave me alone. I don't want to take you out, but I'll have to if you keep doing this. More shotgun shells. Oh, there we go. Gas bottle that we can use. Oh, there's another body there. That's got to be Peter then, right? Okay. I'm sorry, Peter. It's a bad way to go. Monica, I'm going with John to the water. Maybe maybe John will feel better soon. I'm so scared. You had all the reason in the world to be scared, Peter. I am the same. <laughs> this thing is different than the one in Yellowstone. I forgot about this. The cave system. Hello? I need to find some flares or something. Traps. The totem there. Yeah, if we get time, I don't think... Oh, here we go. 9230. All right, let me make a note to myself. 9230. A little pen in my jacket that I can use. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use these to, to see if anything can be summoned or anything like that, but I doubt it. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so we've got all of the missing people, John, Peter, Monica, and Ruby. So what does that leave us with in terms of evidence then? So, take a photo of the footprints. We need to find one more of those. Scratches on the trees. We need two more of those. And an actual photo of the creature. We can do that, or we can drop the creature, and then we can leave. Now we've got... All of the evidence. Oh, shit. Jess's heart rate's just gone up. seen it do this before where you try and stay super low key and don't make sound trying to stay away from the windows and the door listen to Jess's heart rate How long have we got to stand this? Oh my god, hours. Hours and hours of this. Leave. Just leave. Oh, it did? Wait, what? So you can actually do that then? You, if you stay quiet and hidden, you can actually, like, avoid being destroyed by this thing. I never knew that. I thought there was always, like, the the chance of it breaking something down just out of being pissed off. 
Oh, that changes the way that we can do this now then. So if we stay super quiet, we can technically avoid this thing. Oh my god! Oh sh Oh my god! He is tearing this place up. Has he dipped? I really thought I could get a shot there, but <laughs> he just slapped the ever-living taste out of my mouth. Did I not put... I, oh, I must have picked it up. Okay, I thought it was worth maybe getting a little bit of extra firepower. So, nine, two, three, zero. No way is it coming. Open. There we go. Nice. Reload. I could have swore that I just heard it. No? I think I'm going insane. One less wolf to worry about. All right. So this thing should take us all the way down to... The King Arthur tree. And then I guess I just keep going south from there. <laughs> What's dying over there? Oh my god. Oh my fu- Oh, that scared the shit out of me then. No! Oh no, no. Night five. He's getting way too close to that night seven mark. Just in case that thing comes rolling through here. Let me just make sure. I'll give it a little bit of a distraction there. Hopefully it'll go for that and not me. The smell of the meat might be enough to just keep it off me a minute. Actually, let me put this down with it. Oh, there we go! Oh, the recoil is insane! Get in there! Don't you do it! Back up! Back up! Oh, I'm trapped! Get out! Go, Jess, go! Oh, no! Oh, we're in trouble. Come on, dance around stuff! Oh. oh, it's the glass. Come on. Jess, just run. Oh, I can't get in there. Heal up. Come on. Oh, we almost killed the thing. And I think it knew that. That's why it dipped. This can buy me a couple of seconds. Where are you? Okay, we got it. Go, Jess! Oh. What time is it? 4.20 in the morning. Let's go. Okay, well, if I can't find the scratches on the trees, I'm going to try this. On there. On there. Is that going to do anything? No? We're we not that lucky? Okay. <laughs> it was worth a try. But yeah, I'm really looking around for any scratches, and I'm just not seeing anything. <laughs> oh, not again. I've been here as well. <laughs> oh, no. No way! Oh, we're in serious trouble now. No! There he is! Go down. I gotta go down. He's gonna kill me if I don't. No! Why didn't that work? No way! Not like this! Ah! Oh my god, that 
was so close. Okay, well, we did it, and I really, really tried. That got so chaotic towards the end then. I really, really tried to find the scratches on the tree. We found all of the bodies, so the people that sent us in <laughs> can at least get some closure now. Oh my god, that thing was way more aggressive than the one in Yellowstone. But guys, <laughs> I think this is where we're going to end. If you want to see the final map before Rust Lake releases, then drop a like on this video, and I'll do my best to try and get it without taking the Bigfoot down, finding everything that we need, including those scratches, and getting out of there alive. So if you do want to see more, drop a like on the video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.